Hey guys, uh, welcome to another Cliffhanger Cup video, Dr. Trotter. We are going to be analyzing the flying types in this matter. Um, we've got obviously the two top picks, well seemingly, uh, in the tier zero or nine point, which would be our Altaria and Skarmory. In the tier one, we've got the five pointers, which is only Tropius. Uh, no other flies in there. In the uh, one point, you've got Noctowl and Lugia. Now, I've got uh, two other picks that I think are potentially really good uh, for various. Obviously, there's different coverage for different Pokemon. Um, so, yeah, I really like this cup. Uh, we'll dive straight into those flying types now. So, we're going to go into pvpoke.com and we can see we've got um, a list of our flying types here. Um, Charizard and Dragonite are on the list, but they're not flying types, so we're going to ignore them. Um, we've got Altaria, Skarmory as our top tiers. They're there for a reason. Um, they're great Pokemon. Next down is Tropius. Now, the Banana Man's awesome too. Then look, we've got Noctowl, Golbat, and last but not least, Lugia. Um, so these are the six Pokemon sorry, that I'm going to focus on during this chat. Um, they've all got their own niches. They're all good in certain situations, bad in others. We're not going to go into everything. Um, we're just going to look at... Um, how they are, what they do well, um, and why they are that way. Um, we will have a slightly higher focus on Tropius, but that's because he's interesting. All right, so our top tier picks are Altaria and Skarmory. Everyone who's done PvP knows these guys. They know what they do, they do it well. Um, so I'm gonna explain two things, why they are a good pick, and also why they aren't a good pick. Um, <laughs> you have to choose from there. So obviously they are a good pick because they are great Pokemon. They do their job well. They beat a lot of things, not just necessarily the things they're supposed to beat. So they're very bulky Pokemon. Dragon Breath on Altaria just rips through everything. Um, Skarmory has a lot of HP. He can take a lot of hits. He's good in the clothes. Um, yeah, if you need to, you can bait and pop off a flash cannon. Flash cannon's going to do damage to mons you're not expecting. Like, um, Bastiodon gets down to red health with two flash cannons if he doesn't shield. Um, really good. Altaria, just, yeah, that Dragon Breath rips everything. The biggest downside of these two, and we're going to show talk about all of this later, is Medicham. So I'll save that for the end, we'll get into it, because um, Medicham is a beast. And there are other flying Pokemon that do better than these guys against Medicham. So I'll come to that right at the end. But if you want to waste 9 points on some a good flyer, obviously either of these two are a great pick. Next we have Tropius, which is a 5 uh, point Pokemon. Um, I think he's actually a better flying type that can do some work of the grass Pokemon than he actually is as a pure grass. Um, we all know what counters him, flying kills him, fire kills him, lots of things can kill him. Um, but I think he fits quite a niche role here in a flyer that can also kill the things that grass kill. And I'm gonna show you that by putting up against a couple of anti-flying Pokemon. Uh, obviously the electric types are the ones we're gonna focus on um, because the flying shouldn't beat an electric, but we do. So quickly, here we can see Tropius is running as a flying type against Low and Raichu with Grass Knot, Thunder Punch, and Spark. Um, Tropius wins the matchup, doesn't need Razor Leaf. And a very similar thing happens against uh, Kanto Raichu, if, except we've gone with Thunder Punch here and Wild Charge and Thundershock, um, but Tropius does lose the one shield matchup. And next up we have our tier two picks or the one point team. Um, we've got Noctowl and Lugia. Um, I don't like Noctowl. I don't think Wing Attack hits hard enough. It's as simple as that. Um, Lugia, however, is great. I think he's a really good pick. Um, he's got a lot of flexibility. Dragon Tail hits really hard, and Extra Sensory works really well as a uh, replacement to any flying attacks. I guess we're looking at grass and fighting types there. Um, Sky Attack, brilliant, and you've got a massive hit in either Future Sight or Hydro Pump, depending on what you prefer. And last but not least is, is my only pick for the uh, zero point team, and that is Golbat. 
Um, wing attack works well here. I know I paid out Noctowl before, um, but Poison Fang and Shadow Ball are fantastic moves. Um, Shadow Ball is still going to hit all the fighters for a lot of damage. Poison Fang gives you great coverage against any fairy types. Uh, I just think he's a really good Pokemon. You can run Air Cutter, however I find that Poison Fang is much more useful because uh, Shadow Ball is going to hit for just as much damage and you can shield bait with Poison Fang. So why do the flying types matter? This is why. Grass types are very dominant. If you don't have counters for them, they're going to rip through your team. So this is just my victory bell and it destroyed. One of our other biggest problems with flying types is they're supposed to beat fighters but consistently, so many of them lose to Medicham in the two shield scenario. So here's our two top tier flying Pokemon, Altaria and Skarmory, and you can see they both lose to Medicham. Same goes for Tropius, and same goes for Noctowl. They just don't beat him in the two shield scenario. And now here we can see that Golbat, he's the only one so far that wins the two shield scenario. Not only win it, he wins it hands down by our country mile, zero point Pokemon taking down Medicham. And if you want the ultimate flyer that's kind of not really a flyer, but one that dominates Medicham, Lou Ye is your way to go. Hey guys, so I hope you enjoyed that insight into the flyers of the Cliffhanger Cup. Um, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. That'd be great. See you next time.